From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. Celebrating festivals in India is a way to promote its culturally rich heritage and age-old traditions. In this spirit, we will show you how the artisans across Indian states are carving idols of Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Ganesh along with colourful and designer earthen lamps or diyas as markets are abuzz with people thronging to buy decorative items and traditional lamps for Diwali. Let's have a look. Festivals in India hold a special significance for its people as they are deeply rooted in their culture and tradition and are an essential part of the country's value system. Like every festival celebrated in the country, Diwali resonates in the hearts of people with joy and happiness. And the timeless artifacts like earthen lamps or diyas, an item of decoration and lighting during Diwali add to the essence of the festival. However, over time, the festival began to lose its traditional hue due to the arrival of many replacements for such artifacts in the market like fairy lights and electric bulbs for decoration. The impact of which not only downsized the domestic income but also affected the sales of the traditional artifacts. To keep this age-old tradition alive, Today, artisans across the country are carving idols of the Hindu deities Lakshmi and Ganesh along with earthen items like lamps in an eco-friendly way while giving them a designer look that goes beyond conventional methods. दीपावली के तुरंत बाद मैंने मूर्तियों का जो अनादर देखा क्योंकि गंगा में हम प्रवाहित नहीं कर सकते मुंडेर पे इधर पेड़ों के नीचे तो मुझे लगता था कि क्या मैं ऐसा करूं कि लोग उसको डिसॉल्व कर लें पेड़ों में डाल दें तो बस फिर वहीं से शुरुआत करी हमने गोबर से गणेश लक्ष्मी बनाने की। With the arrival of Diwali, the festival of lights, markets are all soaked in the color of festivities, offering buyers diyas in a variety of shapes, sizes, colors and designs. Gone are the days when earthen lamps were only available in traditional red-brown hues in the Diwali market. Keeping in mind the preferences of the customers, porters across the Indian states have also made diyas and idols of Lord Ganesh and Lakshmi in an eco-conscious manner using cow dung cake. जब से चाइना कमाल खत्म हो गया यहाँ से तब से ये इंडिया का आइटम बनना चालू हो गया हर एक चीज मिट्टी का भी हर एक चीज जो चाहिए वो मिलेगा आपको अच्छे से अच्छा The shopkeepers believe that ever since the Chinese products were banned people have become more aware of the indigenous products such as earthen lamps earthen pots and other handicraft items हम ये दिया तो बेच रहे हैं हम लोग पहले के मामले में अब ज़्यादा अच्छा आया है पहले जो होते थे दिया बारे बच जाते थे चाइना के आगे हम लोग जो है फेल हो जाते थे चाइना के दिए सस्ते पड़ते थे वो चले न चले वाला की बात है मगर हम लोग उसमें फेल हो जाते थे मगर जब सरकार ने वे प्रतिबंध कर दिया है तब से इस पर फोकस आ गई अब दिए जो है बिकने लगे हैं और लोग फैंसी दिए भी मांगने लगे हैं डिजाइनिंग दिए हैं हर साइजों में दिए मिलने लगे हैं Festivities like these not only bring happiness to people's lives but also provide opportunities for many traditional craftsmen to get a fair wage through selling their creativity. India is home to a number of distinctive figures, renowned personalities, stunning artworks and a number of captivating monumental wonders. 
which also lured a large number of sightseers to witness its ancient value system and culturally rich heritage sites. Let's have a look. From intricately woven designer clothes and meticulous handicrafts to stunning artworks and captivating monumental wonders, India has a rich array of culture, traditions and diversity to offer the world. From north to south and east to west, the country is impeccable with its taste in the variety of cuisines, serene natural beauty and photogenic landscapes which also make it the most desirable destination for tourists from across the world. Today, India's tourism industry is considered one of the major contributors to the world economy, with the World Travel and Tourism Council 2023 study suggesting that the sector contributed 201.37 billion US dollars which is equal to 16.5 trillion rupees to the global economy in 2022 which is comparatively higher than the past years. India's tourism sector is booming with record-breaking tourist footfall as cities like Agra, Srinagar, Shimla, Tiruvananthpuram and Udaipur have become major tourist attractions for people from India and around the globe. And at the beginning we didn't want, we didn't intend to come to in India, but uh, little by little we decided to come. We are a group of 14 people and we are discovering India for the first time. Hundreds of thousands of people come to India every year to feel and witness its ancient value system and culturally rich heritage sites. They go around places of cultural and traditional significance and learn about the country's enriching history. According to government data, India received 6.19 million foreign tourist arrivals during 2022 as compared to 1.52 million during the same period of 2021. Apparently, the tourism sector plays a crucial role in promoting cultural understanding and exchange between India and the rest of the world. Furthermore, government schemes and initiatives such as the 24-7 Multilingual Tourist Info Helpline and Dekho Apna Desh provide support services to tourists from across the world and boost the tourism sector. It's a huge country and we would like to see the people here, of course, the traditional temples and the, the country. So we he heard about and we very enjoy it here. The and lake cool. today with the, with the boat um, and we went to a very nice palace. Um, yeah, and Nothing of temple. course the the very miniature um, painting, it's very beautiful, it's awesome. The tourism sector in India creates jobs, boosts economic activity and generates foreign exchange earnings. The WTTC estimated that India's tourism sector directly employed 8.7 million people in 2021, which means 6.6% of the country's total employment. The sector also supported an additional 27.5 million jobs indirectly and was induced by its impact on other sectors of the economy. This makes India as the fifth largest travel and tourism employer in the world. Actually, I'm studying here in Trivandrum uh, in Kerala University. So every sometimes we, ca we came here to uh, Kovalam Beach uh, to take a rest uh, and uh, enjoy in, uh, in, on uh, the sea water. Actually, I am uh, from Arabic country. Here in India, I also have a uh, good tradition like my country. It's uh, almost the same, almost the same. So no difficulties for, about me in this uh, point. In Trivandrum, I have a lot of places to visit. In Mumbai, also is, there is more, many places, and Bangalore. Bangalore also is a beautiful city. But Trivandrum for a natural place, for take a rest, for uh, uh, feeling uh, very nice place for uh, take rest in Mumbai. 
the tourism industry in India today is endeavoring to become a driving force behind the country's economic growth. The Indian government on the other side is relentlessly putting in efforts through several schemes to support and sustain its growth. And now, some of the stories that made news recently. The mesmerizing autumn season attracts tourists on a large scale in Kashmir. These days, there's an autumn season and with it, the beauty of Kashmir Valley, especially Mughal Garden, has enhanced. Tourists from across the world visit Kashmir in all four seasons but the autumn season has its own and different charm which always attracts tourists for enjoyment. Notably, the beauty of Chinar trees is unparalleled during the autumn everywhere in the valley including the Mughal garden. During the autumn season, the golden and brownish color of Chinar trees gives a unique and beautiful look which attracts tourists on a large scale. Presently, a good number of tourists are spending their good time in the Mughal Garden and making memorable albums under the shadows of heritage Chinar trees. Autumn is also called Harud in the local language and during this season, the maple leaves of Chinar trees turn gold brown from green. The Indian Air Force in Chennai held the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of the Flying Instructors School this November. The Flying Instructors School completed its 70th year of training Indian Air Fighters this year. The Air Force displayed their mighty strength and valor by flying fighter jets in the air. The Tambram Air Force officers performed paragliding jumps and VIC formation at the Tambram Air Force Station. VR Chaudhary, Air Chief Marshal and Chief of the Air Staff participated in the event and witnessed the air show. After the sportive paragliding and aircraft show, Chief of the Air Staff VR Chaudhary made an address where he said that many air forces today use high-tech equipment as the benchmark to judge the severity of the threat from adversaries. Russia can be found in vivid hues, melodies, verses and most importantly in the joyful expressions of youth who aspire to acquire the language and culture of their homeland. Ambassadors of the Russian language in the world have been on an expedition to India for educational and enlightenment purposes. Open lessons were held in schools and universities in India. Young participants who didn't know Russian before were able to learn individual words and phrases, get acquainted with the national traditions of the people of Russian and even perform on stage. Methodists and organizers of the program believe that learning something new is more effective in a playful way. Such knowledge creates a puzzle of mutual understanding and respect for other nations. Moving on, saffron, the red gold of Kashmir, is known worldwide for its flavour and colour. Usher in the harvesting season, authorities in Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir recently organised the Saffron Festival to promote its production and provide a platform to the farmers for its marketing. Take a look. Saffron, the red gold of Kashmir, is one of the most expensive spices in the world. It is extracted from the flower crocus sativus that blossoms in autumn. Owing to its long and dark red huis, Kashmiri saffron is regarded as the best variety of saffron available in the market. To welcome the harvesting season in Kashmir, authorities in the Union Territory recently organized the two-day festival to promote the saffron crop. The event showcased the tremendous potential of saffron cultivation across North Kashmir, particularly emphasizing its prospects in Baramula district. 
इससे क्या होगा कि अवेयरनेस होगी स्टूडेंट्स में यहाँ के फार्मर्स में यहाँ के लोकल्स में अवेयरनेस होगी कि ये कितना इम्पॉर्टेंट है और ये जी आई टैगड भी है अभी चूँकि इसकी हार्वेस्टिंग का टाइम है अभी हो रही हो ही रही है स्टार्टिंग इसकी हार्वेस्टिंग तो बहुत अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स मिलेगा आई थिंक और एज ए स्टूडेंट हम भी यहाँ पर आए हैं हम कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी से आए हैं बहुत सारे कॉलेज के स्टूडेंट्स भी आए हैं स्कूल्स के स्टूडेंट्स भी आए हैं उनमें भी बहुत अच्छी अवेयरनेस होगी कि मतलब हम इसको हम इसको कैसे प्रमोट करेंगे और एग्रीकल्चर और जो एग्रीकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट है इन्होंने भी बहुत अच्छा कदम बढ़ाया है जो कि यहाँ पे सेफ्रॉम फेस्टिवल ऑर्गेनाइज करके Kashmir saffron, known for its flavor and color, is harvested once a year. It is late autumn in Kashmir, and locals around Pampur, also known as the Saffron Town of Kashmir, are picking the delicate flowers to fill their wicker baskets. High quality and pure saffron can always be recognized by the unique aroma and features of the stigmas it contains. The event centerpiece was the display of saffron flower picking and precise stigma separation. These programs assist farmers in marketing their produce not only for locals but also for tourists who visit the region. The agricultural department expert shared valuable insights with the farmers throughout the session and took note of their concerns. The saffron growers urged that such initiatives to be carried out regularly. एक्चुअली जो ये प्रोग्रामर्स होते हैं तो ये हम फार्मर्स के लिए काफ़ी फ़ायदेमंद होते हैं इससे हमें एक चीज़ का ये फ़ायदा मिलता है कि जो हमारा प्रोडक्ट है तो ये हमें अपने ही मतलब जो अपनी सोसाइटी उसमें ही इसको हम प्रोड्यूस नहीं करते हैं दूसरे जब ये फेस्टिवल होते हैं तो दूर दूर से लोग आते हैं मीडिया होता है हमारे पास मीडिया के जरिए भी या जितने भी लोग आते हैं इनको पता चलता है कि हमारे पास ये प्रोडक्ट है तो इनसे काफ़ी फ़ायदा मिलता है जो प्रोग्रामर्स हैं इनसे हमें काफ़ी फ़ायदा मिलता है और आइंदे भी ऐसे प्रोग्रामर्स होने चाहिए Achievements highlighted during the festival included the successful cultivation and harvesting of saffron flowers. Scientists and other professionals from the Department of Agriculture presented several lectures about new techniques and crops to make the event more appealing and productive. कोशिश की जाती है कि किस तरीके से दुनिया के लोगों को इस चीज के साथ जोड़ा जाए चाहे वो किसी चीज़ के लिए खुशी मनाने के लिए जिसको फेस्टिवल का नाम दिया गया कि वो खुशी मनाई जाए कि इस वक्त यहाँ पर वो सैफरान जो है जो कास्टिया स्पाइस दुनिया की है वो अवेलेबल है लोग आएँ इसको ख़रीदें क्योंकि आस्ता आस्ता क्लाइमेट चेंज की वजह से जो दूसरे फैक्टर थे उनकी वजह से जब पैदावार कम हो रही थी तो उस पैदावार को बढ़ाने के लिए और पैदावार को बढ़ाने के साथ साथ मार्केटिंग करने के लिए जब से जीआई टैग मिला है इन प्रोग्राम छोटे छोटे ये प्रोग्राम करके लोगों को उजागर किया जाता है ताकि बाहर के लोग भी यहाँ पे आएँ टूरिस्ट भी यहाँ पे आएँ मीडिया के हजरा भी यहाँ पे आएँ वो इस चीज़ को उजागर करें कि हिंदुस्तान में जो कश्मीर के अंदर जो सैफरान निकलता है वो दुनिया का बेहतरीन नंबर वन सैफरान है Kashmiri saffron has its own importance due to its purity which results in this crop having huge demand in national as well as international markets. The purpose of the event was to raise awareness among visitors about the value of saffron and its cultivation. These workshops which are arranged like festivals will assist saffron producers in effectively promoting the crop. And now some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus the japan motor show was held after a four year hiatus which had been postponed due to the covid-19 pandemic this year it returned with a new name japan mobility show around 475 companies from robot flying car and other industries participated in the grand event the giant of motorbikes yamaha motor has expanded its display field yamaha corporation which makes musical instruments collaborated it is symbolized two yamaha one passion yamaha motor ceo yoshihiro hidaka delivered a speech discussing the company's mission and vision ikenakatta tokoro ni ikeru yoni naru aenakatta hito ni आ ए रो नि को
生きるを感じる山発動機は人々の可能性を広げるためにモビリティの存在をさらに際立たせその機能を拡張していきたいと考えています The field life concept was fixed by Yamaha Motor. This indicates that people become accustomed to both motorcycles and musical instruments through their everyday use. Electric bikes' prosperity against gasoline powered bike was also introduced during the event. To achieve decarbonization, Yamaha showcased four buggies and a motorcycle that runs on hydrogen. Yamaha Motor's policy is product should be good companion of human being. beyond just industrial product on the industrial future development yamaha motor contributes to enrich human beings everyday life japanese company jfe engineering develop infrastructure construction all over the world the ship on marina bay sands has multiple large bridges and an environmental incinerator These infrastructure companies serve both developed and developing nations. To accelerate worldwide business, JFE Engineering intends to employ foreign staff. Mr. Tei is employed by the Keep Environment Division. He was born in Dalian City, China and joined the JFE Engineering 8 years ago. Indonesia no 3 years ago, this is the Singapore no Shoka かの余裕路のえっ、ー、と設計を担当しました。自分が設計したあの機器の試運転調整は最後まであの自分でやりました。ゴミ焼却分野ではもう業界トップの実績を持ちますので、まあいろんな論法が蓄積されています。あと優秀な先輩やあの上司は多数今いらっしゃいますので、まあ業務上は何か困ったらまあすぐ相談できる環境なので、まあ業務上はすごくやりやすいと思っていますね。Mr. Nguyen is employed with the Infrastructure Engineering Division. Vietnam is his birthplace and he joined JFE Engineering six years ago. Excellent foreign employees respect JFE Engineering's seamless internal and external communication as well as the variety of work and life balance. JFE Engineering uses highly skilled foreign labor to expedite global business. Moving on, in India, it is believed that taking a holy dip in the Ganga River helps in attaining salvation. But the river is also considered to be polluted all across the globe. To keep it clean and to rejuvenate the river, the National Mission for Clean Ganga (NMCG) has been undertaking the rigorous task of cleaning the river under its flagship program. Take a look. The River Ganga is one of the largest river systems in the world, stretching across northern India. Hindus venerate it as life-giving river, calling it Ma Ganga. But every day, around three million liters of sewage is emptied into the river. In a bid to ensure the clean flow of the river, the National Mission for Clean Ganga. was implemented by the National Council for Rejuvenation, Protection and Management of River Ganga. Namami Gange is an integrated conservation mission executed by NMCG to clean the river. Ever since the Namami Gange program was launched back in 2014, several concrete steps have been taken to clean the holy river and to maintain its cleanliness. Pehle ke mukabla bhi yahan pe gandagi kam hai. पहले ज़्यादा थी तो नमामि गंगा गंगा प्रोग्राम के थ्रू साफ़ सफाई अच्छी है यहाँ पे और लोगों को भी जो घूमने आते हैं यहाँ पे उन्हें भी जागरूक होने की आवश्यकता है पॉलिथीन न डालें खाने पीने का सामान न डालें एक्स्ट्रा वैसे अच्छा लगा यहाँ पे आके और यमुना गंगा नदी का पानी भी साफ़ है यहाँ पे A series of activities such as events, workshops, seminars, and conferences are organized on a regular basis to make a strong pitch for public outreach and community participation in the mission. NMCG organized the seventh edition of Ganga Utsav this month, which was inaugurated by Devishri Mukherjee, Secretary, Ministry of Jal Shakti, in the presence of G. Asok Kumar. Director General NMCG 
It is an initiative taken by the government of India to address the pollution of the river by providing financial and technical assistance. Ms. Debishri Mukherjee expressed that the Ganga is not merely a river but a profound emotion that resonates with all of us. She expressed her satisfaction in witnessing the remarkable progress in the Ganga rejuvenation efforts, especially in collaboration with the new generation. She stressed that the preservation of rivers is a shared responsibility of everyone. In the first place, we must have the uh, we must clean up our rivers and water bodies. Uh, the for which we need for the public sector and the private sector to both come together as well as the citizens make it a national movement. But with that also there are, uh, you know, people come together to actually preserve their habitats. All aquatic animals have specific habitats and needs. So beyond keeping the water clean, it is also important to look, preserve specific habitats and have, you know, people need to work together to ensure that habitats are preserved. Ganga Utsav 2023 also marked the release of the 33rd edition of the Namami Gange magazine and the Voyage of Ganga booklet based on Ganga Pustak Parikrama. Special Secretary and Director General NMCG G. Asok Kumar extended a warm welcome to the attendees and emphasized the profound significance of the Ganga in India. Mr. Kumar informed that Ganga was declared as the National River of India in 2008, which led to the establishment of the National Ganga Day. He further elaborated on how each year this auspicious day unites a diverse spectrum of stakeholders, including children, in joy celebrations and activities. Ganga uh, is facing a lot of uh, pollution pressures, but to a large extent it has been addressed. Uh, uh, the last eight years under the Namami program, a lot of initiatives have been taken up, uh, particularly to stop the flow of uh, dirty water, as, whether it's sewage or industrial effluent, into the Ganga River. Uh, almost uh, 37,000 crore worth projects have been sanctioned. Many of them are uh, completed also. Hindus hold a strong bond with River Ganga and devotees believe that taking a holy dip in the river on certain occasions causes the forgiveness of transgressions and helps in attaining salvation. Ganga itself, an event executed by the National Mission for Clean Ganga, is not merely a platform for discussions and awareness, but also a celebration of India's cultural heritage. The event encompasses an array of cultural delights, from music and dance to thought-provoking dialogues. It is a melange of diverse activities designed to nurture a deeper bond between people and rivers, fostering awareness about the vital task of river rejuvenation. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>